Hello. In this second demonstration, what we're going to look at is the calibration of an RTD transmitter. This is the, the white device on the table here. The differences are, though, that we don't have the thermocouple calibrator anymore, and we're going to use a couple of different resistors uh, in this circuit here to simulate an RTD at its lowest temperature and an RTD at its highest temperature. We still have everything else pretty much the same, you see the 250 ohm resistor that's going to convert the um, current, the 4 to 20 milliamp current, to a range of 1 to 5 volts that will be displayed on the meter. So all that's the same. We're still connected to a 24 volt power supply, but the only difference is that we're using this RTD transmitter. So here we have the transmitter, and this type is a transmitter for RTDs. It's white in color, and if you recall, the thermocouple is yellow in color. You can even see on the uh, top, the label here indicates that it's a uh, type 3, which means it goes from 0 to 300 Fahrenheit. And it indicates the little letter P is black in there to indicate it's a platinum RTD transmitter. And the color gives that away as well. Now down at the bottom here, you'll see the name. It's a TX92A-3. You will have a data sheet that you can look up the information for that. Now these three terminals here are the ones that connect to the RTD and we're going to simulate it with a resistor but here are the three terminals we've talked about before the two, black, the two blacks are the common lead the red is the, um, the, the C when we talked about the three letters now over at the other end you'll see that there's a calibrating resistor here and this one's set up for the lowest resistance which is going to be 92.3 ohms representing zero degrees Fahrenheit now we've connected the two black wires because uh, you know we're not using a real RTD, we're simulating it with a resistor. So this end and this end are connected back to this device. Now if I just flip this over a little bit, you'll notice the letters on here indicate N minus, N plus, and M. Those are the three connection points for the RTD. So make sure you've wired it up just the way I have it in this diagram and we'll start with the 92.3 ohm resistor. All right, now I'll take you through the steps of actually calibrating the device. And uh, I know it's out of calibration right now because I'm simulating the low end with a 93 ohm resistor, and it's not reading one volt, as you can see on the meter, which it should be at its lowest temperature of zero degrees. And I'm going to be simulating the highest temperature with a 150 ohm resistor, I'm going to place it in here to simulate an RTD at 300 degrees, which should be giving me 5 volts, and I'm getting close to that, but I need to adjust it a little bit more. Now, normally you want to start with the zero input, so I'm back to the other resistor, and I will be going back and forth quite a few times until it's calibrated. So I'm going to start at the zero temperature reading, a 93.1 ohm resistor represents zero degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm going to adjust the zero. The zero is this tiny opening here. I'm just going to move the wires out of the way so you can see that. And so I'm going to adjust it until I get one volt in the meter. So I'm going to have to go counterclockwise. And if you look at the meter, it will eventually make it to one. You don't have to be perfect on the first couple of tries. So that's good enough for about one volt. I'll have to switch to the high end temperature. So we're simulating 300 degrees with this resistor. And then that should give us five, but we're getting 4.8. So I'm going to adjust this and I'd want to turn it clockwise until I get about five. And as I said before, the span and the zero interact. So you'll have to adjust it two or three times until it's just right. So five, back to the zero. We're getting closer but not quite. Okay, that's good. I'm back to the high limit. And we're almost there. This is probably the, the last adjustment. So five volts. Back to the zero.
and that's going to be good enough for now okay so what we've done there is I've put in the resistor that's representing zero degrees adjusting the zero putting in a resistor that represents 300 degrees and adjusted the span and we went back and forth a couple of times till we're about within one percent and this is very close so that's good enough for this point in time the other thing is we're going through if you recall that 250 ohm resistor that converts the four to one volt and the 20 milliamps to five volts and the next step will be to put in a, an actual RTD and compare it with the uh, ambient temperature in this last step we're just going to compare the voltage that we're reading on the meter with a calculation and then verify using the digital thermometer that the two temperatures agree so to begin with I'm getting 0.94 volts or sorry 1.94 volts I'm going to subtract one so 0.94 divided by 4 because that's our range in voltage gives me that fraction then I'm multiplying it by the span of the uh, RTD transmitter so times 300 and so that's my temperature 70.5 and I'm going to compare it with the digital thermometer which I have down here and it's currently showing me uh, 70.7 degrees Fahrenheit so we're only about point three degrees off, which is quite close. That's about it for this demo. Thanks.